everyone welcome back so in today's video i'm going to recreate maddie uh, from euphoria's makeup look this is the look that i loved it's got purple in it it's got neon bright orange in it the look literally was right up my alley and i really really wanted to recreate this i'm actually going to tag uh, the original makeup artist who created the looks um, in the show i would recommend that you go follow them because they are so incredible and they have come up with such beautiful amazing looks and i love how they have also shared all of the products that they've used and the techniques that they've used i think it's pretty awesome um but yeah this is the look that i recreated um i am super excited for you guys to watch this and without any further ado let's get started i am going to test out uh this little cute little tester that i got from fenty beauty this is their pro filter primer so i'm just going to take a little bit of it looks really nice um, and I'm gonna use that as my primer today I like that it doesn't really smell heavily of anything I love the texture of this it's so nice and bouncy I actually wanted to use my Fenty Beauty foundation but I changed my mind and I am going to use the Makeup Forever HD the Ultra HD foundation I love this uh this is in the shade uh 415 y415 i'm using the ybp sponge to blend the foundation i love the finish of this foundation it is the best uh can you tell that my eyes are stained from last tutorial i did that yesterday i wore the pink eyeshadow from the Alyssa edwards palette and it has stained my eyes literally 24 hours have gone and my eyes are still stained okay so we are done with the foundation uh for concealer i'm going to use this one from huda beauty this is their overachiever concealer in the shade cookie dough and i'm actually going to use this on my eyelid uh because the foundation covered it uh covered the pigments the pink one but i want a very clean base for the eyeshadow and this one really has this nice little tackiness to it uh so yeah that's why i'm using this a little bit goes a long way for this foundation uh concealer sorry and um, it is slightly lighter than my skin tone so it's also going to highlight those areas since the colors i'm going to use are very bright i think this is going to look nice okay the concealer has blended i am going to apply some powder um this one from makeup forever this is their hd translucent powder it is one of my favorites i actually wanted to pick up the hourglass powder um i've heard such good things about their translucent powder uh but i don't know why i didn't pick up maybe because i was in, the, in a rush while i was at sephora which reminds me i hope you guys have watched the previous video which is um my sephora haul plus um uh, tutorial in one uh, let me know if you guys liked it i finally was like really comfortable and not scared to go read the comments underneath that video oh my god this place has become really really nasty i mean the comment section will literally put and spiral people down into depression i mean it has been so hard for me to be consistent i get i get this these like random burst of motivation and i'm like yeah let me do an h&m haul you know because i got some cute stuff it's like latest you guys would find it at the store and i'm like oh this t-shirt's super cheap you know it's the same one and i'm like it's for 7.99 and i have the entire universe bashing me about oh my god it's not really cheap who do you think you are um so yeah after huh, reading beautiful comments like that that doesn't really 
uplift me in any way it just is very hard for me to have that same sort of passion and zeal to kind of share anything i'm like if i sh whatever i share um it's gonna get bashed anyway i guess i don't know um i just have this very very uh, negative connotation to this platform lately yeah but i'm still trying i guess the show must go on as you can tell that powder did a really really good job of um cutting down the shine i could see like a lot of shine on my forehead and underneath my like eyes wherever like uh there was a little too much creamy stuff uh my skin especially the t-zone gets really oily so this powder works so well for me i love it it could get a little too drying if you have normal to dry skin so i would suggest that you try it and then get it if you want to get it then let's do the eyes which i am so excited about because that's what this entire video is going to be about i have been so excited with all of the looks in this show and i haven't really watched it so i feel like hmm, i don't really have really good inputs for it but i am super excited about the makeup looks um i am going to use this palette from nyx and this is their ultimate multi finish shadow palette in electric she had like purple on her eyes and as you can tell there isn't any purple in this palette this one is pretty close uh but when i apply it it actually looks blue but i'm like hmm blue and pink makes purple so let me try and do that uh, so I take the pink, I mix it with the blue and voila, it's like magic. Oh my god, <laughs> look how satisfying that is. Okay, so I'm just going to use my finger to apply the color because I feel like it blends the best with my finger. Oh my god, this is like magic. <sighs> so beautiful. A lot of you guys actually tell me to uh, write down my tools as well and I don't know why I always always forget so now I'm going to make it a point to always tell you what I'm using. Uh, this is the Pro Arte PE20 brush. I love this brush. See how fluffy it is. Uh, so I'm just going to use that to blend the shadow and also like spread it. I love how simple this look is yet um so 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 stark and so much drama i'm actually thinking of creating like two three looks from the show because like i i really couldn't choose one look because all of them looked so good i really need to start watching the show too um but i don't really like teen dramas like high school dramas but i've heard great things about this one so let's see i also just finished watching one um high school drama um a spanish one actually it's called elite i i liked it in the beginning but i it kind of like got really um predictable by the end of it if you guys have watched elite let me know I have been loving Spanish shows, to be honest. Um, La Casa de Papel was so good, so good. And I was very excited about the third season that just came out. Um, yeah, it was so good. It was so, so, so good. I think I might have a crush on the professor. That's it for the matte eyeshadow i'm actually going to apply a little bit of um a shimmery shade and it's from this palette from back uh this is their eyeshadow palette in number two and i'm going to take this shade right here it's a beautiful um dual chrome purple it's almost the same shade as this but it's got like shimmer to it um so i'm just going to take a little bit of that and apply it sorry that was my metal straw i am going to take a little bit of that and apply it onto the center you know basically where the eyeballs move so it like catches the eye oh my god i'm loving this already just a little bit on the center 
that looks so nice i'm going to quickly repeat the same thing on the other eye next i am going to apply the eyeliner which i think is the highlight of this look and which is why i was like so excited to do this um the makeup artist actually used the Suva Hydra liners, which I'm dying to get. It's available on Beauty Bay. I just need to take out time and place my order. But for now, I am actually going to use this lipstick from NYX. This is in the shade Morocco. This is their soft matte liquid uh, cream, I think it's called. And this was like the closest color I could find to the orange that she was wearing. Uh, so I think this is going to be perfect. And I am going to use this brush from Sigma. This is their EO5 eyeliner brush. really like the shape of the brush. She has a very, very thick winged eyeliner going on, like with the uh, wings extending to the inner corner, but not really sharp and like this thick lower lash line as well uh, so let's attempt to do that working well so far might need a couple of layers to get that striking orange brush is so nice it's so sturdy I should go slightly thicker than that oh man i love this brush it's so nice the lipstick is actually creasing underneath my eyes mm. i'm just taking a little bit of that same um hd finishing powder and applying that on top of the lipstick so that it turns matte because it was like really creasing underneath my eyes because it's a very creamy lipstick and i don't want this to budge. Okay, so we're done with both the side. I actually went ahead and used a Q-tip to kind of sharpen uh, the edges and get them, get both of them uh, the way I wanted them to be. And uh, yeah, the look is almost complete. All we have to do is apply mascara. Or in my case, I'm actually going to wear some lashes because I want this to be a little bit more dramatic. I am going to wear uh, the back 56 lash. Really like that. And I am going to use the duo eyelash glue. After I was complaining about my eyelash not sticking yesterday, uh, Saloni actually reached out to me on my DM and she's like, you know what, you should get these lash glue. Uh, so I'm going to link them down below because she is legit a pro when it comes to amazing makeup and uh, she highly, highly recommended the Miss Claire one and some other ones that I don't remember at the moment. So I'm going to link them down below. I'm actually buying some of them myself just to check them out. I'm actually going to wear this off camera now because you guys saw in my previous video how much of a struggle it is to apply it on camera and I need to go in front of the mirror and like really be close to it and apply it. So see you in a second. We are almost done with the eyes. I am going to apply some mascara on my lower lashes. So that's it for the eyes. We are done with it. Now I don't really see a lot going on on her face or cheeks as such but I am going to apply a little bit of blush to tie the look together and for that I am going to use this Too Faced natural uh, face palette and just add a little bit of color onto my cheek. She doesn't seem to have a lot of highlighter or anything so I don't think so I'm gonna apply that uh, very much which I'm feeling a little sad I might go ahead and apply some but we'll see maybe I can apply very very little of this very very diffused highlighter for lips I'm gonna use three products uh, first I'm gonna line my lips using the Huda Beauty lip contour and bombshell uh, then I'm going to use the MAC nude lipstick in taupe and the Bobbi Brown crushed liquid lip in the shade juicy date um, just a little bit of this because I do see a little bit of glossiness on the look on the lip um, and she has said that she's used a MAC lipstick but hasn't really specified which one um, and said that you know you can use any um, like nude lipstick from MAC so I thought taupe would be the best for me. Just on the center of the lips. 
my god i love this combination i think i'm gonna start wearing it a lot more and then to finish the look i'm just gonna apply a little bit of the urban decay all nighter spray so that's it guys this is the finished look i was so excited to do this and i'm really glad with the way it turned out um i'm actually gonna recreate some more looks uh from the show because i thought they were super duper nice let me know uh which one was your favorite look and if you guys have actually watched the show because i haven't and i think i need to if i am kind of like recreating a couple of looks because i feel like just knowing the character will help me um better understand like the makeup look so yeah let me know if you guys have watched it i know it's available on hotstar and i do have hotstar because i watched game of thrones in it um but yeah this is the finished look i really like this combination even though it is super loud uh but i really encourage you guys to kind of try out more colors and try not to be afraid of wearing more colors if you guys end up recreating this then please tag me uh my handle is this i hope you guys are following me on instagram as well because there are a lot of bts and other things that i put up on igtv that don't usually end up here on youtube uh but that's it thank you so much i hope you guys are all doing amazing please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye